Hello, it's Jeremy Ward with Ward Realty Services. I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the NAR settlement that everybody's seeing on the news and on the media. Uh, my concern is they're not reporting this truthfully or, or really providing the facts. So I just want to take a few minutes and try to provide you with some facts of this settlement and kind of help you going forward with your real estate ventures. So Mr. Husky was a broker owner um, in California. I believe he took care of the Hollywood market and was very successful. Uh, he has since retired. And I ran across this article he did, and it was just basically really simple and very clean, uh, basically truth or false, right? So w number one, uh, you'll see it on the media that uh, real estate agents are now reducing their commissions and sellers don't have to pay commissions and the buyers are going to have to pay it all. And that's, that's all just kind of mixed together and wrong. So let's go through it real quick. So number one, the settlement forces brokers to reduce their compensation. That's false. Those fees have always been negotiable and there has never been any collective bargaining. In other words, none of us get together and say, this is what we're going to charge in our market. In every market, there is a wide variety of fees, just as there are levels of marketing, service, and competence. Not everybody's the same. Number two, the settlement will, for the first time, allow sellers to no longer pay commission for an agent bringing the buyer. False. There has never been an obligation for a seller to pay buyer agent compensation. So there is no law that says that the seller has to pay or don't have to pay. It's always been negotiable. The listing agent and the seller will sit down and negotiate the fees that they're going to uh, charge during this real estate transaction, how much the seller is going to pay the listing agent and how much the listing agent is going to offer the buyer's agent. So again, a false statement in the media. Number three, the settlement prohibits sellers from paying a commission to a buyer's agent and relieve seller of the financial burden. False. The mandate restricts properties with an offer of buyer agent compensation from displaying on associations owned by MLS, yet the practice can't be restricted in any other form of marketing. So basically, uh, when they say the settlement prevents sellers from paying a commission to a buyer's agent and relieves the sellers of financial burden, that's not true. That's not at all what the lawsuit, the settlement was. It just basically says again, that the seller has a right not to pay or can pay or it can just be negotiated to a fee that's acceptable to all parties. It's really, we're doing the same business. At the end of the day, we're just gonna be doing a little bit more disclosure and maybe a little more negotiation on the buyer's agent's half. Number four, the settlement will serve to meaningfully lower prices and make home ownership affordable again. That's false. I mean, right off the bat, the way the news is presented, it's gonna burden the buyer. Values in real estate are determined by supply and demand. Fees in real estate transaction represent additional expenses, yet these include not only commissions, but many other related charges. Should real estate commissions be reduced by 1% because of compression? That $500,000 home will now cost $495,000? So it's not going to make anything more affordable. The sellers are not going to reduce their prices. The home's worth what it's worth. It's just the way they're presenting it, it that the buyer is going to have to come out of their pocket uh, for these commissions. And that's not true. It's all negotiable and sellers still can pay. Number five, the settlement is a win for buyers who will now be able to negotiate the fee for representation. That's questionable. For readers who have purchased homes, it is more than likely you were happy to have the seller compensate your agent so you didn't have to. For buyers who had to provide the down payment and closing expenses, having the commission paid by the seller and incorporated in the home price allowed them to finance the amount over time instead of coming up with the additional cash at closing. Guys, I, I work with buyers and sellers every day and I have for almost 20 years. Most, especially first time home buyers, don't have a lot of cash. They rely on these great programs, you know, FHA and rural housing where it's little to nothing down and they have enough money maybe to pay for their appraisal and their inspections, but they don't have a lot of cash. They're just starting out. They don't have the equity that a lot of the sellers have. So again, I think it, if anything, it could hurt 
uh, it's going to hurt the buyers in the beginning and in the long term if there's less buyers it's going to hurt the sellers because without the competition in the market prices have to start coming down so i don't think this is uh, a bad settlement the way it's settled i think it's bad the way it's been reported number six the settlement will result in significant restitution to consumers who were harmed over recent years in their transactions by realtors false the settlement is huge Yet when one divides the amount by the number of potentially qualifying consumers, it works out to about $10 a seller. What I have witnessed are the countless situations where an agent has gone above and beyond to help buyers realize their dreams and sellers to maximize their returns, often serving in ways far beyond their job description. And I can vouch, we, we go above and beyond a lot. We do what it takes to get these people to make their goes, to get their houses sold, and for the buyers to be able to get in one. I mean, we've pulled shrubs, we've we've done landscaping. You just never know what I'm gonna pull out of the back of my truck to get a house ready for, for listing day. So this was written by Budge Husky. He's a chief executive offer, officer of Premier Sotheby's International Realty. And I think he really broke this down in a way that it's that's easy to understand. So, you know, the way I look at it, we're still we're still representing our buyers. We're still going to represent our sellers. Buyers, we're going to have a contract to sign that basically says that we're working together and then I represent you as a buyer. There will be a commission that's agreed upon that. And in that contract, it will say that the buyer's agent will do everything in their power the best they can to have the sellers pay for that fee. So the sellers can still pay it. It just will be a negotiation. And on the seller side, guys, uh, I've been doing this about 20 years and I've seen bad markets. I was in the recession and I can remember when we were charging, the sellers were saying, hey, we'll pay you 10% and we'll offer a $5,000 bonus to the buyer's agents who can get this deal closed in say the next 30 days. Like people understand that when you offer something, you get a better result. And I haven't had any luck uh, trying to sell a place and not offering some sort of compensation who's gonna bring the buyer. So it'll be interesting to see how this washes out, but I'm not too worried about it. Again, we're doing the same job. We're just gonna be adding a little more paperwork and making sure everybody understands the process. And as long as we do that, I think that we'll be fine. So after watching this video, if you have any questions or concerns, maybe you're not interested in buying or selling a house in the next few months or the next year, but you just kinda of wanna understand it better, feel free to give me a call or call any of my agents. We'd love to discuss it with you. Or if you're getting ready to get in the market, you want to know, kind of like look at this on a net sheet and see how really it works out. We would love to sit down with you and consult with you a little bit, explain things and make you feel comfortable with making the next move. For more local real estate information, please like and subscribe to the Jeremy Ward Team YouTube channel.